So hello and welcome to another class of AB Viva Science. This is Avisa Pithi. So today I'll be talking about modification system present in the DNA of bacteria. So you have heard about the restriction modification systems. So today I'll be talking about the modification systems present inside the bacteria, which is influencing the DNA cloning mechanisms, uh, which we are trying in the combined DNA technology. So this is a challenge. Uh, to understand the modification system in, present inside the bacterial system so that we can increase the efficiency or the yield of cloning uh, by deactivating or activating these methyl systems. So first we will know what are the methyl systems or modification systems which are present inside the bacteria. So first one is the <coughs> dam methylase. Second one is the DCM methylase. And the third one is the, this very rare, M eco K1 methylase. So these three are the known mechanisms of methylations for modification. Uh, modificating enzymes which can modify the DNA present inside the bacteria as well as the foreign DNA which you want to insert into the bacteria. So one by one I will go in detail. So first one is the dam methylase. So dam methylase is an enzyme which modifies the G A T sequence T C sequence where A is methylated a is methylated in N6 position. Now, how it is methylated? Actually, this enzyme transfer a S adenosine methionine. So here it transfers the methyl group transfers the methyl group so the dam methylase clear it is an enzyme which takes the methyl group from S adenosyl methionine or SAM and transfer it to the N6 position of adenine residue in GATC sequence. So this is done by this enzyme. So what happens when you methylate a sequence? That means this methylase, uh, methylation actually restricts the enzymes present inside the uh, inside the bacteria not to cleave or any kind of nucleus activity is barred after this methylation systems or it is to tell you that this is our own. Okay, so do not affect it or do not do anything. So no modification can be done after the methylation is performed inside the bacteria with the help of this dam methylase. So this is a very very important enzyme present in the bacteria. Now I will go to the second one that is DCM methylase. So this is produced by D C M G. Okay. So what happens here? This enzyme methylates the internal cytosine residue. Internal cytosine residue. So the cytosine residue present in the sequence will be modified by this enzyme in C5 position. Okay. So what will be the uh, sequence which is being modified that like GATC in case of diamethylase in case of DCM it is CCAGG and C 
CCTG. So these two sequences were the internal cytosine residue in the five position or five position is being methylated by this enzyme. So this is the second one. Now coming to the third one that is N eco K1. So very less is known about this methyl system, but it is a very important mechanism inside the bacteria. So in this case, like DCM, the presence of this uh, methylation systems or methylated residues or the sequence, the frequency of the sequence present inside the genome is around uh, 256 to 512 BP. Whereas in case of N eco K1, that is methylation system of eco K1 is present more than 8 kb apart. So it's a very rare mechanism. Present or the rare enzyme present inside the bacteria. Mostly we'll be talking about the DAM and DCM methyl system. So why this DAM and DCM methyl is very very important when you are studying or when you are going to do for gene cloning activities. So why this DAM and DCM methyl is very important for the uh, upcoming experiment of your cloning? Because if you take first two results are there. First one, suppose uh, E. coli strain is a DAM positive. Now, if you are isolating the genome from that uh, bacteria which is DAM positive, there is a chance that the desired plasmid may be resistant to the desired restriction in the nucleus enzyme, the RE. Because the sequence which it is recognized GATC may be present inside the plasmid, which is being modified already due to the presence of DAM methylase inside the host. So this is a very crucial problem you are facing when you take a DAM positive methylase or DCM positive DCM positive methylase strain. So that's why you need to check that these two negative strains should be always used in your cloning experiment if you want to do cloning without any virtual effect or without any type of interference from the methylase enzymes because the situation in nucleus are very specific to their sites and if it found it is methylated or already modified then there will be no endonucleus activity no cutting so your experiment will fail now the next reason is or the second reason is it has been shown that plasmid dna which you are isolating from DAM positive or DCM positive strains have less transformation frequency so this is a very crucial observation made by the scientists during the work that the modified plasmid DNAs are very very less efficient as a transformant or it is very difficult to transform them or the number of copies you want to transform is much more reduced when it is getting methylated. So this is a crucial reason or very important reason why you should, you should not use any kind of damp positive or DC positive methyl systems. So I think you are clear with the methylation systems. If you have any query, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you. So if you like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.